So this episode is a little bit different. I get quite a few comments on my channel about why do I spend so much money on a Mac Pro 2019 when I could have got a Windows machine for a fraction of the price. And the answer is I like using Macs basically. We, ha we do have Windows machines here. I've got a HP Z4 here, which we use for our Avid, um, but it's not got enough power in it to use with Resolve really. It does work, but not, not that powerful. Uh, so Scan Pro Video got in touch with me and said, would I like to road test one of their 3XS machines? That's their sort of high-end computers and give it a go with Resolve. So they've sent me one really nicely specced out and I'm gonna run the exact project that I ran for my original YouTube back in June 2020, where I tested the performance of the 2019 Mac Pro versus the 2013 Mac Pro. So here's the spec. This is the ScanPro Video 3XS system. It's running Microsoft Windows Pro 10. And this one is built on their website, basically. You go to a configurator, I'll put a link into the description, and you choose which application you're using. So we're using DaVinci Resolve. And it will then give you various options that you can choose from. And you, you build up the system that you want. The crew at Scan will then build that. They tweak the BIOS for best performance. They get it all tested and shipped out to you. So the version we've got here is not quite the maxed out one, but it's, it's of good spec. So we're running the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core processor. Sitting on that is an RTX 3090 graphics card. I've heard a lot of good things about these cards, so I'm looking forward to seeing the performance of this. It's got 128 gigs of RAM inside it. It comes with a whole box of cables and things as well, so if you want to upgrade in the future, there's a whole ton of cables and connectors and stuff in there. One of the nice things with the chassis, the chassis is really large on this system, so it's got lots of ventilation in there. Um, it's much bigger than my HP Z4 machine that we're running here. But one good thing I noticed is the amount of connections that you've got. It's got really good connectivity. And when I got my Mac Pro 2019, I had to go out straight away and buy two cable adapters because it was quite limited on the connections on the back. So on the top here, you've got two USB 3s, you've got a USB C, you've got four display ports on the back, six USBs on the back, two Thunderbolt 3s, you've got a HDMI out, and you've also got an inbuilt 10 gigabit ethernet connection so you wouldn't need a dedicated card for that so i've been running with this for a couple of days now and it's been rock solid so let's have a look at some of the performance tests now i've got several shots in here i've got these four shots here which are ultra hd uh, this is canon uh, c200 canon c300 this is a sony a7s3 and we've also got a gopro in there again running at ultra hd so i'm going to run these as a as kind of multi-cam sequence using the speed editor and that'll be our first test. And the second test I'm gonna do is the exact same test that I did uh, on my first ever YouTube video, which was a test of the Mac Pro 2013 and 2019. I'm gonna see how well this performs using exactly the same project. So let's start off with our multicam sequence. So I'm gonna go into my cut page and what I'm gonna do is sync these up first. So what we have to do is highlight all the clips in the bin. If you have other clips in this bin, you need to put them into its own bin. So you can right hand click and say create bin with selected clips. What I'm gonna do now is hit this button here and it's gonna sync these clips up. Now all I have to do is press sync here. I've got audio on all four of these clips and it should automatically detect that and line those clips up accordingly. So I'm gonna press sync and let's see how quick it does it. Okay, that is miles faster than my Mac Pro did that. I'm quite amazed at how quick that did that. Um, my Mac Pro has to think about that quite a little bit. So that would probably take maybe five, 10 seconds. That was really quick. These are about three minutes long, these shots, about three and a half minutes long. So that is now, hopefully, syncs all those up. And what we can do now is just say save sync. What I'm gonna do is select just the A camera because this is the camera that had the correct audio on it from the shoot. And I'm gonna deselect this because that's video only. And I'm also gonna apply this button here and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna take my A camera, I'm gonna append that to my timeline and let's just have a little scroll through. And that's behaving really nice and smooth. And what I wanna do is trim off the front before Jim actually starts speaking. So I'm gonna press trim in. And because I've selected this icon, I get a nice enlarged view of the waveform. So this is really cool. So, I'm not... so you can actually see the start of the video. So that's now perfectly lined up. Press play. So I'm going to show you how to make my ultimate bowl of food. Perfect. Right, let's get some extra cameras in there. So what I'm going to do is press sync bin and that allows me to see my other angles. So let's straight away go in for, let's go for angle two. So there's several ways I can work with this. I can now press, I want video only. I'm going to press camera two and I can press sync overwrite. And what that will do is add five seconds of that shot to video layer two. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's play. 
I'm gonna show you. Oh, I need to play it on my timeline, sorry. Let's just, just go back. Okay. So I'm gonna make my ultimate bowl of food. I'm gonna show you how to make a bitter bowl. Right, and at that point there, let's have a look at the ingredients. So I'm gonna go to my sink bin, and that is shot three. Now, what I can do is do this in a different way. I'm gonna do live overwrite. I'm gonna press camera three, and you literally paint it on. So this is really nice, because you can choose how long. It's not five seconds, it's however long you want it to be. I'm gonna press timeline to come out of there. Scroll that back, and now we've got three layers of 4K playmate. Which isn't only nutritionally balanced, it's also gonna really and at that point there, we're going to cut back to her there. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick on this track here just so we build up four layers. I'm going to go back to my sync bin and let's choose camera one, which is the Sony a7S III. I'm going to press live over right again, camera one. And let's just paint that on. Back to my timeline, scroll back. You can see how really quick this is. The system's behaving really well. I've got my speed editor going. I'm going to show you how to make a bit of bowl, which isn't only nutritionally balanced. So let's say I want to trim this shot here. I'm not happy with where that comes in. What I can do, if you press the camera angle for the layer that you want to affect, that will affect the trim. So if I press camera three, that affects le level three. And then I'm gonna to go to the beginning of that, press trim in, and we can adjust that trim point. So just to show you again, if I want to select layer two, I press camera two, trim in, and I can just pull that in or trim out. So there we have our four layers playing back really smoothly in 4K. Our project is set to Ultra HD, so just to show you that, we were working in Ultra HD, and I'm really pleased with that. So let's have a look at the other sets. In fact, what I'll do on here, let's just play an 8K clip just before I go and do the proper test. So in the media pool, if I click on here, I've actually got an 8K clip in here. So this is a red weapon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit that in Let's just take a few moments of that. So I'm gonna do a mark in and mark out. That's playing back really nice and smooth. And what I can then do is go to my timeline. And let's just to put that on top of those four tracks there. So I'm gonna do place on top, which is here. That's my timeline. So we've now played four streams of 4K and four streams of Ultra HD, sorry, and an 8K. I'm gonna show you how to make a bit of bowl, which isn't only nutritionally balanced, it's also gonna really, really boost you. Perfect, so no problems at all, it's playing back really nice. Now, what I want to do now is run the test that I did back in June on the Mac Pro 2019. I've got that loaded up already. So I'm gonna do this performance test here, and I'll just give you a recap if you haven't seen that video. But basically, we've got a series of clips. It's a one minute timeline. The timeline is set to Ultra HD, and I'm basically doing various different things on here. So these are Canon RAW clips and I've basically just done regular style grading on them. There's 16, 17 odd layers going on there on each one, a bit of keying, that sort of stuff. On um, this shot here, this is a compound clip. And what I've done here, if I go to the edit page, I've taken a ProRes 42HQ file and I've duplicated it 16 times. So if I right hand click in here, I can decompose that compound clip and just show you there I've got 16 layers of video and each layer has got its own different grade on there so the sharpening blur that sort of thing if I go to the color page you can see there's my 16 layers and each one has got its own different property on there so that's hopefully going to stress the system out a little bit and give us a true idea of its sort of performance and the next clip down here let me just put that decompose back in place just right hand click and say new compound clip. And the way that I can see all these layers neatly is by clicking on here and you can expand or reduce your video track height, which is quite useful. Then let's go to my color page and look at the next shot here. This is just Canon Raw. Again, I've got some open effects going on here. I've got color space transform. So this is my regular style sort of grading just to test the system out. I've got a H.264 GoPro clip here as well, just to help and I've also got one here that's got some fusion work on it. So if we go to fusion, so not only has it got the CSTs and some grade, but if we go to fusion, you'll see I've got glow, color correction, there's a text file, there's a defocus, all that sort of stuff. So again, just to test the system. And finally, we've got a Blackmagic 4.6K raw file with uh, what looks like about 10, 12 layers of grade on it. So we're gonna render this out now to the deliver page. 
So I'm gonna set this to be DNxHR. I'm gonna do it DNxHR 44410 bit, which is comparable to the ProRes 4444 that I did on the Mac Pro 2019 test. I'm gonna call this 3XS Windows test. And let's just add that to the render queue. And let's see how quick this does this. This is the moment of truth. So I'm gonna press render and let's see. Okay, so that completed in 48 seconds. So this ScanPro video system is quite clearly up there with my Mac Pro 2019, and it's coming in at a third of the price. So this system is just under 5,000 pounds, including VAT. So that is a third of the price of my Mac Pro 2019. Um, the crew at ScanVideo have been really helpful as well. They know their stuff. There's a guy called Alistair there who used to work for Blackmagic Design. He's part of the ScanPro video team. So you're in good hands. I've put a link in the description to scan. Uh, what else? The Windows experience overall, uh, there's, a, there's quite a cool feature in uh, Windows 10 Pro that is called BitLocker. And basically if I have my laptop on set and it got stolen, unless you know my particular login, all my files are encrypted automatically. So that's quite a nice little secure feature. And obviously the whole Windows system with the chassis, you can upgrade you know, I've got much more choice of, of uh, graphics cards and fine tuning the performance to exactly how I want over the Mac system. Um, am I gonna go and rush out and replace all my Macs? Probably not, we've had them a long time. I've just invested quite heavily in the Pro 2019, but I have enjoyed using this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little performance test and look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.